God, thank you so much for this moment. Thank you for bringing us all here safely. We are so grateful for this path that you continue to put us on and, and the gifts that you continue to allow us to use. And we're so grateful for these moments. Amen. Amen. When I was little and I would perform and like it was just my mom and my dad like rolling my heavy keyboard and sometimes my dad would be at work and my mom was pregnant with my sister and she would be rolling that huge piano, it was a motif. She would be exactly. rolling that thing. The biggest one they made. Matt and the amp yeah. and taking it out of the back of the car just so I could do my gig. And now we're in freaking Wembley Stadium. Yeah, you're in Wembley Stadium. Yeah. It's called sacrifice. That's right. It's called sacrifice. Woo! It's really crazy to think, like, we started from... You know, me just the, you me being the, the, production. Being the production, exactly <laughs> like I'm, I'm going the sound guy, the, sound like, guy, yeah. the, the roadie, the, roadie, the, yeah. the guitar tech, you know, everything. Yeah. Can you believe now? Like, you have a full there's a full production, production and yeah. all of these road cases, and they all say her on them, yeah, like, that's, yeah. Everybody is like super on point, and it's, it's crazy to think people don't see. Yeah, that, that, the whole team. Exactly, that's actually it takes a village. Sound. Yeah, you know, it just started with us, humble beginnings, and now we reach new levels. It's yeah. crazy now. So I remember waking up and hearing Lenny Kravitz and Prince on the TV while you're cooking breakfast. Um, but that to me was like, I don't know, it was like a really pivotal moment in my life, right? When I was, I think I might have been like nine years old, you know, and, and I would hear that on the TV. Okay, so this is a box of her things I haven't broke out in a long time. Well, this is her uh, first poetry book she wrote and she's like six years old. Nine-year-old Gabby Wilson plays piano, drums, bass, and lead guitar. She has a rich, soulful voice of a singer three times her age. The jacket she wore on the Today Show when she was 10. After the Today Show, she bowed and never wore it again. <laughs> so maybe that will go in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame one day. So this is uh, Georgia Street, downtown Vallejo. The city of Vallejo used to have what they called the Wednesday night celebration. This was the first place she performed with us. This whole area would be just crowded with people and she'd hop on stage here with us and do two songs and it was, it got to be to where people were more interested in coming to see Gabby than our band. And so this is a special place for me and her. It's one thing to kind of listen to records, you know, just listen to CDs or whatever, headphones, but to actually watch Prince on stage or Lenny Kravitz on stage or the Isley Brothers on stage or watch Led Zeppelin or yeah. Hendrix light his guitar on fire. I was like, that's <laughs> yeah. probably going to inspire her to really want to, you know, play guitar. Yeah. Especially because Jimmy is somebody that looks like us. You know what exactly. I mean? and, and so, it did. Watching those videos, right, is one mm. thing, and learning the licks is one thing, but I think the thing that you've always taught me to focus on was my sound and the tone. The ways that you taught me, like, all right, if you have this pedal, if you, you know, do this and you, you, you know, put it on the bridge pickup, then it's a little brighter. If you, you know, if mm -hmm. you, you put it up, it's a little darker. You know, if you play the telly, it's a lot darker, but then the strat, you know, it cuts through more. And I remember all mm. of those wow. lessons. And I, I didn't really think you would, yeah. Yeah, oh, wow. and, and really we would amazing. literally study like Prince and, and yeah. his sound. And you were like, it's not necessarily about what you're playing but it's how you're playing it. And now I look back on all my videos and I'm like, wow, if it wasn't for those moments. Of understanding of, tone. Exactly, understanding the tone. Just like vocals. melodically to you. Exactly. You understanding how important melody is in guitar solos. Yeah. Rather than playing a bunch of notes.
We were listening to Prince, Lenny Kravitz, and all the greats, and Ozzy but too also Ozzy. <laughs> yeah, right. Like there were so many different genres of music, but I think, like you said, the one thing that everybody had in common was the feeling. It, it wasn't necessarily for me about what genre I fit in, but how I could incorporate all the things that I've learned from all these guitar players into my own kind of style. And I think. I believe that there's only two genres of music, good and bad. Good and bad. Exactly. 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 Two, two <laughs> music. So we have the Blue Marlin here. It's pretty cool, right? Yes, it's just way cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say. The, the thing about this guitar that I absolutely love, I, I mean, it's crazy that I have another one. Like, even having the first guitar was, like, so unbelievable. I couldn't even, like, comprehend that I have my own guitar. But this one, I think, is a lot more special because, I don't know, it's just, it's the color. I mean, of course, the specs are amazing, but there's something about this time, I feel like it finally hit me. Like, mm -hmm. I have my own guitar. <laughs> like. It's official, like I'm, like this is me. So this electric blue, not only is blue like one of my favorite colors, but um, you know, I, I think about being a little girl and other than music, we were always fishing. It's like, that was our thing. It was peaceful um, and it was kind of our time away. Um, and I think that's why I wanted to call it a blue marlin. Mm. And, and how it's it's like the ocean, you know, it flows and yeah, and it's electric. There's something really electric about this blue and of course the iridescence of it was was so necessary in continuation of my first strat, but it's a special one. Everybody in the south fishes. There's all a lot of little ponds and little streams that you can fish in and you know, that's what kids do in the South. You know, ride motorcycles, go fishing. That was a way for me to, um, to bond with my daughters. I always felt like fishing was a good way for us to kind of get away from all of the, the noise and whatever's going on and just sit out on a lake, maybe catch something, maybe not. But it was, wasn't important catching, it was important was the bonding. Okay, but I have a surprise for you, though. What's it? Look at the back. No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's you're gonna make me oh, cry. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> wow, thank you, honey. Wow. I had to put. Thank Come you. on, we Get got this. the the Kenny <laughs> special wow. edition wow. blue marlin. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I had, <laughs> I had no idea you guys caught me. <laughs> <laughs> we have such a connection with strats. Do you remember my first strat? Uh, I my, remember it. my fender. It was a black and white one. This is uh, a guitar that my dad gave me, and um, I learned how to play this song. He taught me how to play, and I'm going to play it right here. I think a lot of kids starting out playing guitar don't understand that you know you don't have to to say, oh well, you know I can. I'm only going to play R and B. Yeah, exactly. I'm only going to play country. Yeah. You know, I'm only going to play rock. If I think one thing about you is you didn't mind learning all styles. Yeah. Because exactly. music is music. Yeah. And you would learn those songs and I'd be like, wow, she gets it. <laughs> that's, and that's why you're here. Yes. You don't have to be boxed in a to one category if you play guitar. Yeah, and I think you know? it's it's really cool because I hope I've I've contributed to this in some way, you know, that it's cool to be in a band. Exactly. Again, it's cool to play an instrument. You know, it, it's cool to pick that. up, you know, an instrument and and be melodic or come up with a really dope chord progression, mm -hmm. you know, alongside songwriting or I'm seeing a lot of women playing guitar and killing it, and I absolutely love to see that. You know, I think we need yes. more women who are producing, more women on the drums, more women on the bass, exactly. more women on the guitar, and I think we're now shedding light on those women, and I hope that, you know, I continue to inspire. It's crazy to think how I'm doing stadiums now. Like, it's, 
insane that I could even say that. Like, I never thought that I would be in a stadium. I hoped for it, but I don't think I, I imagined being like in a stadium. Like yes. 50,000 people, 80,000 people every night, like a world tour. Yes, and then, and then that's what a guitar can take you to do. Yeah, guitars are stadium instruments. So. <laughs> they really are. And you represent it. Yeah. Well. From from Vallejo, downtown Vallejo. That's right. You know, just playing in the grass on, on the stage there, you right. know, during the, the festivals to now being at the stadium. The stadium, yeah. Iconic. Full circle. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 